Top Salesforce Service Cloud Interview Questions 1. What is Service Cloud? Answer. Service Cloud is the UI that manages the customer service and support system in the Salesforce system. It can be integrated with several platforms like email, phone, social media, chat, etc. 2. Name a few extensive features of Service Cloud. Answer. Chat service. Live assistant service for online customers. Customer service. Single interface for customer service without leaving the website. Knowledge base. Quickly accessible knowledge base for agents to answer quickly. Service console. Enables expert management of service tasks. 3. What is the role of a Salesforce Service Cloud Consultant? Answer. The Service Cloud Consultant works to ensure efficient customer support management using Salesforce solutions. He also designs custom solutions deploying Salesforce Service Cloud for the business. 4. What are Salesforce cases? Answer. Cases form the backbone of the Service Cloud. They are records that maintain the log of customer concerns, its complete overview, and everything related to the customers. The Service Cloud Consultant customizes the cases to the business needs to ensure that the customers receive the necessary support service. 5. What are the advantages of Service Cloud? Answer. Asterisk better customer support system asterisk all customer related information can be stored in a single application. Asterisk support can be provided through varied channels. Asterisk increases sales opportunities. 6. Name the different clouds in Salesforce. Answer. 1. Sales Cloud 2. Marketing Cloud 3. Commerce Cloud 4. Service Cloud 5. Experience Cloud 6. Analytics Cloud Other Clouds. Asterisk Nonprofit Cloud Asterisk Finance Service Cloud Asterisk Health Cloud Asterisk Education Cloud Asterisk Manufacturing Cloud Asterisk Vaccine Cloud. 7. What are the features of the Salesforce Service Console? Answer. Agents use the Service Console to get all the information related to a customer case on a single page. The console app makes it easier to resolve the cases by opening multiple cases and the related records on a single screen. The split screen allows the agent to manage numerous cases at a time. 8. What is entitlement management? Answer. Entitlement management is a feature that ensures the best customer support management process. It is like a process schedule with steps the support team must follow to resolve cases. The features are asterisk entitlement processes define the process of the resolution of cases or work orders. The service agent can determine if the customer is entitled to receive support. Asterisk there are different service contracts like warranties or other kinds of agreements. These can be restricted based on the product. Asterisk experience users can view and create support records from the entitlements. Asterisk entitlement management reports help the user check the service contract status and the overall working of entitlements in the Salesforce org. 9. What are the two versions of email to case? Answer. Email to case converts a customer's email directly into a case. Case information is also directly taken from the email, reducing the manual input effort. The feature is used to handle support email addresses. There are two ways to implement this. Asterisk email to case. An agent has to be installed on the network firewall of Salesforce org. It accepts emails of more than 25 megabytes and attachments above 10 megabytes. It also keeps the email traffic within the firewall. Asterisk on demand email to case. It is a simplified version of email to case and does not require an agent but emails above 25 megabytes or attachments above 10 megabytes are not handled. 10. What is the support process? Answer. The support process is a Salesforce feature that aids in organizing case creation and its pathway. 
The status operations on cases are performed using the support process. Values can be added or removed. 11. What is the role of case escalation rules in Salesforce? Answer. Case escalation rules are applied to step up the cases that meet the regulations set in the rule entry section. The rule entries hold the criteria based on which the issue is escalated and the action that must be taken to push the case forward. This is usually done in cases where no action has been taken within a specific time. A good example is an escalation rule which defines the case to be assigned to a Tier 2 team if the case is not being closed by the Tier 1 team within a specific time frame. Thanks for watching Salesforce Start.